that says hopefully going out live. For some Mars Odyssey on PlayStation VR PS4 Pro. Okay, so I'm just going to load up my move controllers really quick. Sorry. <laughs> There we go, that's them. That's my hands all floating about. There we go, they're actually pretty cool. Look at that. That's well better than the Wii controller, hopefully. So yeah, what's happening? Mars Odyssey, what's going on? We are now aboard the Aldrin Mars Space Station. It is the orbital transit hub for Earth to the Martian surface. I have interfaced with the station computer AI and have acquainted myself with its operations. Feel free to have a look around. If you access the door panel opposite the porthole, you will enter the station's main hallway. To move about the station on Mars' surface, point at the floor and press up. Release to teleport. your wrist monitor. You may interact with the holographic experience using your arm interface device or aid. Click to continue. That was really nice. Mars facts. Earth and Mars. The third and fourth planets from Sol. One, the birthplace of humanity. The other for eons and mystery in the night sky. They are pictured here to scale, but obviously much nearer to each other than they are in reality. There are two points of interest on Mars I would like to show you. Olympus Mons and Valus Marineris. Click to continue. educational game I think. <laughs> wow. 
Olympus Mons is the tallest discovered volcano in the solar system. It is nearly two and a half times the height of Mount Everest. I have added a hologram of Mount Everest for your reference. <laughs> Massive. Can I move about here? This volcano in the solar system. Wow. Valles Marineris is one of the largest canyons in the solar system. It is nearly 4,000 kilometers long and 200 kilometers wide. At this scale, the Grand Canyon would be the size of a postage stamp. According to the station's AI, a few of the historic human landmarks are... using your arm interface device or aid <laughs> click to continue I accidentally came back into this I'm sorry it was nice quick 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 <laughs> The other for eons and mystery in the night sky. <laughs> they are pictured here to scale, but obviously much nearer to each other than they are in reality. There are two points of interest on Mars I would like to show you. Olympus Mons and Valles Marineris. <laughs> Click to continue. Clicking. Olympus Mons is the tallest discovered volcano in the solar system. It's good. It's tall. It is nearly two and a half times the height of Mount Everest. I have added a hologram of Mount Everest for your reference. solar system. Yep. Hoping I don't accidentally come back in here. <laughs> Valles Marineris is one of the largest canyons in the solar system. Yep. It is nearly 4,000 kilometers long and 200 kilometers wide. At this scale, the Grand Canyon would be the size of a postage stamp. Okay. So now I just need to be careful. This is the Transpod launch room. The Transpod is a transport from the MSS to the surface of Mars. The station informs me the Transpod is fully fueled and prepped for launch. Please enter the pod and face outward. We will activate launch sequence. Try not to move too much and enjoy the ride. To activate the Transpod, first close the pod doors. The button is to your right. 
Okay, fair game. On this Mars Odyssey. This is pretty cool. <laughs> Did I do it? <laughs> Expert repairman. Maybe I completely ruined it. Good at repairing things just by melting it with this. The station structural scan says you did an excellent job. For someone without an advanced degree in exoterrestrial field engineering, you're free to walk around and I can display information about some of its components and equipment. Nice. GCMS Gas chromatograph mass spec. Please enter the trans pod. Well, well come down and let me learn more about the uh, remote sampler on the RSA. Look this thing. Let's see if there's anything else. Other parts of this. Nice. Uh, size moment. What was the next thing? <laughs> I think I've looked at all the things. Can I grab it? No. Do you want us to get back in it? Yes, go to Pathfinder, question mark. <laughs> the game's not sure. I'll try and get a quick drink of juice. We nice. are now at the location of the Pathfinder lander and Sojourner rover. The station has informed me that there is a strong dust storm inbound from the oh, west. No. Have no fear. At 1% Earth's air pressure, you are safe. But if severe enough, the fine Martian dust could do some damage to the electrical equipment on the Sojourner. The station suggests, to be safe, remotely drive it alongside the transport to shield it from the dust. You must be quick. The station has given you access to Sojourner's remote drive control. How? Oh, how do you use it? What? <laughs> what button lets me drive the machine? Not that button. Uh, 
There we go, move button. Move button makes it go. Uh, pushed the wrong button. Do you turn? <laughs> okay, okay. Let's just see the impending sandstorm. And how do you how do you turn? What button would allow this guy to turn? Where is got confused. How did I get over here? <laughs> I'm doing well. Right. Don't know <laughs> I don't know how to make it turn. Square brings up that. I don't know how to make it turn. <laughs> Is it this? There's no other button I've no pushed. There we go. There we go, that worked. Okay, okay, let's just get you moving somehow. Your weird, weird, really difficult turn. Ah, stress. <laughs> Hopefully that sound just holds on. I was packing up about that. Is that how fun to control? Oh no, I was doing so well, I'm going to crash him now. Hey, let's just reverse him. That's it. <laughs> A nightmare. Oh, I've done well. <laughs> Gold trophy. over and then investigate. Huh. Pretty cool.
I'm going to touch. How did I get over here? <laughs> That's my floor, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to touch that. But that is cool. Where else we got? <coughs> we got the opportunity. Park it up. I don't think I even need to do this, but I've not been told anything else in a while. I think I broke it when I couldn't drive it earlier. I'm supposed to park it on there, I don't know. So what all that's about on the floor. Let me see. See if we can somehow it allows me to touch the floor. If I stand up. Here we go. That's it. Did we touch other things? Maybe you do have to park it. Let's try. It's quite hard to drive this we here.
There you go. I don't even think you wanted me to do that, but I've done it. <laughs> I did it. There we go. Cool. I'm pretty sure I've done everything this time. Unless there was something over here I was supposed to. Can you actually choose the things? No? Progress. How do you progress? <laughs> That's really weird. I don't think there's anything else for me to do out there. And it used to be I just touched that and it would progress. So yeah, I don't actually know. Let me test games, honestly. I break them with ease. Yeah, I'm not actually allowed to walk too far. Checking my wrist just to see maybe. But yeah, the voiceover disappeared a while ago as well. Weird. Yeah. Let me try, I'll try triggering something over here. <laughs> Hopefully something will work. Triggering that. Triggering all the other things. Triggering this thing. And that was it, basically, wasn't it? That thing down there that was a pain to get to. Weird. Like, I'd like to go back to this base station. So it looked like there was one more thing to do. But the game says, absolutely not. <laughs> Yeah. It's not like pointing or clicking or like pushing. Let me try recalibrate. Right. Weird. Let me try and swap to the Joe Shark. No. Nope. <laughs> hmm. 
Oh, that's a shame. What can I do? Station. Apply. Hopefully I've not done something terrible. Something just went wrong. Aye, it brought me back here. Is that it? <laughs> I need to check, but that might actually be all the content. It was weird that it just stopped. So maybe try like that one again. See if something different happens. <laughs> Opportunity mission was the one I was doing, wasn't it? I'm glad I managed to get this fixed. I knew there would be more. <laughs> the station scan indicates Opportunity Solar Array is now working within the expected parameters. You may again walk around the Opportunity and point to sections and I will overlay a HUD of their functions. The station and I both agree that though primitive, Opportunity is rather adorable. When you are ready for the next task, enter the transpod. The next coordinates have already been noted. The station has informed me that you are performing the task at 7.0215% above expected efficiency. For a computer, this is an impressive amount. Pan cam. Amazing. I like to clean that more. Please enter the transpod. It's already wants me to get in the transpod. That's enough learning. Back in the transpod. Deep Space Nine. <laughs> Deep Space Network. Uh, what else have we got? Pardon me. Nice. Cut that already. Okay. Curiosity, nice. This is the home of Curiosity, one of the most famous of the Mars rovers. The station is simulating a variety of possible repair solutions. Please hold. Interesting. The station has predicted 
with an 89.4% chance of success and a mild structural realignment via external focus pressure applications should accomplish the task. I will take your silence as a query. The station means for you to give the over a gentle whack in a couple of locations. I will project a HUD of the locations, and it should all work. <laughs> Smash with hammer. Special hammer. Kind of ed educational game. Fix things. Hammer camera based effects. <laughs> Satisfactory job. You may now walk around Curiosity and learn about its myriad of functions. <laughs> nice. would like you to travel to one last location before we depart for the next stop in our odyssey. Please enter the transpot. I believe this is something you will enjoy. Nice. I like the sound of that. Rad. There was one other one, wasn't there? This thing. Excellent. Where are we going now? <laughs> Go to Colony. Another quite short one. Getting through the short ones tonight. <laughs> that was pretty good. I think I hit a glitch on the driving one, but it was probably my fault for being so horrendously bad at it. <laughs> but it was quite nice. That last bit was really nice. I know there was no real gameplay on that last bit, but it was moving because we have we have got curiosity on there. We've not got guys running a bit smashing them with <laughs> hammers, but it 
was quite nice. Informative. everybody for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed Mars Odyssey. I'll hopefully see you again soon for something else. Cheers Drip Dog, A Rabs, Extra More, Quirks and Twitch Growth Discord. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Bye.